Okay, so for our second appetizer tonight, which is also super easy, we're doing crab and cucumber in phyllo cups with a mustard sauce. Yum. Delish. So you've seen these before on our show before. You can buy them in the freezer section. They're your little phyllo cups already done for you. Takes half the work out of the way. Ah, oh, phyllo is delicious. And what you do is you take the cups out and you put them in the oven at 350 for about five minutes or so so they get crisped up because we're going to fill them with something and this is a cold appetizer. Excellent. Okay. So we're starting out with eight ounces of crab meat, which um, as we said last time, crab meat has come a long way, people. Crab meat now is really good and you can find it in your supermarket um, in the fish section and it's a lot cheaper and a lot better than it used to be. So we got some white crab meat, about eight ounces. What's that white stuff you're using? I know. It's so funny. Is this Hellman's? Sorry. No, yes, it's Hellman's. Oh, How right. did you know? It's Hel wow. Hellman's full fat mayonnaise. And as you know, I bring my own mayonnaise. My sister Alex said to me as I was driving over, I have mayonnaise. And I said, no, I don't trust you anymore. Last time I came, there was hardly any. She goes, you'll never trust me again, will you? And I said, no, I will not. She was chosen to bring the condiments on vacation. She told us she didn't bring mayonnaise because she thought of it as an ingredient. Not, not a, a condiment. condiment. Blasphemy. <laughs> Are you listening, people at Hellman's? <laughs> Blasphemy. I choose to ignore her as a sister from now on. Yeah. All right, moving on. We also have a small red onion. Throw that in there for me. Voila. About a quarter of a cup of fresh chives oh, from Jen so Gibbs's good. garden as well. And a couple teaspoons of lime juice. Very nice. Jocelyn, if you want to mix that all up for me. Love to. Now this over here. Okay, now I'm going to talk about this while you mix. Mm -hmm. We did two other things. What we did is we... Um, Deseeded and peeled a uh, another lovely cucumber and chopped it up into fine little pieces like this. And we added a little bit of dill, also from Jen's garden, and a tiny bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. So we let it sit for about 20 minutes or so out here. So it's nice and marinated and the flavors have all come together. And then in this bowl, we did two, two tablespoons of Dijon, two tablespoons of sour cream, and oh. one tablespoon of cream just to thin it a little bit. This is your mustard sauce. Mm -hmm. So Jocelyn, why don't you start, we're gonna start by spooning in the crab part into each of the phyllo cups. So dainty. Very dainty, exactly. And then when Jocelyn has finished putting that, then I do a tiny bit of cucumber on top of each. And by the way, the presentation is so pretty. It really is, it's pretty, it smells delicious, it oh, looks nice. fantastic. And it's a great way to marshal your summer resources once again. Marshal? <laughs> wow. Whatever. Pays in. Um, so we're also used to buying sort of gluey, glutinous produce during the winter. But when you can get it in the summer and it's local and you know it was picked yesterday, uh, the taste is so different. Yes. I don't eat tomatoes in the winter, but, you know. These are delicious. And the other thing, too, is that the cucumbers provide that nice little snap that you need with the crab. Last but not least, last part of this is the mustard sauce. So when you're finished filling all of these cups, you're just going to drizzle a little bit of the mustard sauce basically over your whole platter like this. Just a little tang that goes on each of them like so. Yum. And then they're ready to serve. And it's a wonderful cold appetizer that you can serve on a hot summer evening. And you can do this a little bit in advance, too. You can. Enjoy. Yes.